Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today I'm excited to get to share with you one of the new release items from the Simon Says Stamp Shop. They came out with a brand new release. It's called Rest and Refresh. And this stamp set is part of it. It's called Say It All Friend. And it's a six by eight stamp set, so it's on the larger side. But if you are looking for a sentiment stamp set for encouragement, for sympathy, or for somebody who's just going through a tough time, I think this sentiment stamp is fantastic for that. Um, larger sentiments you could see here, and then there's a lot of smaller sentiments that are so personable, they're lovely. Okay, we're going to jump in and make three cards today. So I have a panel that I trimmed out with my stitched rectangle die. It measures three and a half inches by four and three quarters. And I am going to stamp a friendship card. So starting with the first stamp here, it says, if only you knew how much your friendship, love, support, and big hugs means to me. Isn't that so pretty? I chose the main sentiment, sentiment that says girlfriend. Um, I'm going to go over my panel with my anti-static powder tool and then we're going to do some heat embossing with white embossing powder. So I inked up my sentiment with my Versamark ink. We're going to bring in some white embossing powder and go over our image here. And I love the white on that corally color cardstock. The cardstock that I'm using is from Lawn Fawn and it's called Guava. I think it's a lovely color. So once my sentiments melted for this panel, we're going to set it aside and work on our next panel. Um, I'm going to bring in some Nina Desert Storm cardstock. It's a real nice craft cardstock, and I'm using the same size panel. Um, for this card, we're going to make it a sympathy card, and I just chose to use the sentiment that says here for you. So I went ahead and added white embossing powder to my sentiment, melted it, and we're ready to go with that one. Okay, so these are our panels. Um, I'm going to start off by stamping a floral image. This floral image is from a Simon Says Stamp um, stamp set called Delicate Flowers. It came in a card kit, but it is available separately if you guys are interested, but it has some beautiful floral images in here. I'm going to stamp one of the flowers on the very bottom of my panel and also on the top. And I'm using a Hero Arts ink. It's the Unicorn ink pad. It's a lovely white pigment ink and I just love this for stamping white images. But I'm taking the leaf flourish and I'm stamping some leaves right next to my flower. And you can see that I'm overlapping my leaf on my flower. Um, this, you could mask it off if you'd like, but it really doesn't matter because we're going to end up covering up our flower with some texture paste today. So I think that's going to look fantastic. Now for my next panel, I'm going to bring in another stamp set. This one here is so pretty. It's called Beautiful Flowers. I'm going to use the largest floral image in here, and for this I have to bring in my Misty. Um, I'm going to lightly tack my panel to my inside of my Misty this way, um, it doesn't shift. But I'll add my stamp. We'll pick it up with the lid of the Misty, and then using the same ink, I'm gonna stamp that. Now I love the leaf images. Well, I love the stamp, it's period, it's just gorgeous. But um, we're only gonna use some texture paste over the floral images. So the detail that's in the leaves is kind of important, um, just because it, it just adds that extra special touch. I'm going to flip this panel over and do the top portion of it also, just adding a little detail. Today's cards are, we're only using the colored cardstock and white ink and texture paste, but it creates stunning cards. So I also stamped um, Thinking of You on some pink cardstock. Okay, now's the fun part. I'm kind of bringing in, for, for those of you, this is texture paste from Ranger. Every time I use this, it reminds me of frosting. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. I'm bringing in, if you guys are new to my channel, I'm a baker. I own a bakery. And so um, I often do this for my cookies at work. And it creates, it's so, so easy, guys. And it creates beautiful, elegant um, florals on cookies or cakes or even cupcakes. If, okay, it's called... Um, 
this technique here is called for bakers it's called brush embroidery and very easy to do if you look it up online you'll see a lot of um, cakes and cookies that are made with this technique but I filled up a Ziploc baggie if you have a piping bag it would work the same way I chose the Ziploc baggie only because um, I thought it would be something that everyone has in their kitchen but all you do is basically draw with the texture paste around the out the outer edge first of your floral image now I'm using a flat paintbrush and you want to use the side of the flat paintbrush and all you do is go halfway up that texture paste that you just drew and pull that texture paste down towards the center of the flower it creates a beautiful effect um, again you don't want to go all the way to the edge of that texture paste you want to leave that little almost like you're creating a little border around it and you're going to pull it down towards the center this creates a beautiful effect um, I use buttercream icing, icing to do this for my cookies but um, you, or a royal icing but it, it just looks lacy so pretty <laughs> um, you always start with the outer edge and then you do the you can do them in little sections and then you do the middle section or your middle line of the flower next you just pull down that texture paste towards the center and you just repeat it till all the petals are filled very easy um, I'm hoping in the close-up pictures you'll see how pretty the detail is of this but it's a super neat effect and it causes texture and dimension um, on cookies and I thought it'd be fun to bring it to card making <laughs> um, I had so much fun with this I made three cards today now um, your stamped images I suggest a stamped image of a floral that has layers this way um, you can just follow the layers of your your stamped image it makes it a lot easier um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the leaves now the leaves I have to admit um, for my cookies at work I usually don't do the leaves because it's a little bit more tricky because the area um, that you add the texture paste to or frosting <laughs> is a little bit more smaller to work with but I'm just pulling down that texture paste kind of spreading it out coloring in those leaves and I just love the effect that this gives I think it creates a very nice soft lacy look um, to do this if you want to tint your texture paste you you could you could color it with your oxide inks I think that would be fantastic or even your ink refills to color in your texture paste and do it on white cardstock I think that would be another great option um, at the uh, my very last card today I'm going to show you how to use this little technique without even using a stamp how easy it is so that's my first panel and I think it turned out gorgeous now next we're going to use our craft card stock and you can see the detail in this panel is a little bit more intricate but again all you do is take your texture paste and um, just go on the outer line draw pull down that texture paste towards the center of your flower and it's very easy to do just pull down that texture paste I think this this turned out so neat and I'm so happy I get to share it with you um, whenever I do make cookies at work um, it looks like I spent a lot of time but in actuality this is my entire video I promise you um, for all three cards today it took me um, 30 minutes to finish it was so easy but I think um, the recipient of these cards would be amazed what you did with them <laughs> super fun I'm not worrying about the center of my flower you could use the texture paste and add little dots um, but I'm going to add some gems just for a little added sparkle but you could go the full area of the outside edge of your flower or you could do it in little increments like I'm doing for this one but you just pull down it that texture paste and it doesn't matter if you over and texture paste on the panels are very forgiving like the lines that I just drew I don't even think I was following the flower um, which makes it super easy the inside layer will be your last layer but isn't that so fun 
I was excited I get to share this with you. <laughs> okay, I'm finishing it off. I did do a little bit on that very top corner and it does take a little time to dry and um, it does kind of bow your paper a little bit because of the weight of the texture paste. But um, fun foam will flatten it out or a good helping of um, foam tape will help with the, the warping of your panels. Okay, so that one's done. Now I wanted to show you a way that you could do this technique um, with no images at all. Um, and a little bit of the texture paste goes a long way. <laughs> I drew a circle just using um, one of my circle dies and I'm gonna do a little wavy lines around the outer edge of the circle. And you can see uh, my texture paste kind of split up a little bit. I just filled it in with my little baggie and I'm doing the same thing. Now, um, the nice thing about the texture paste too is you could push it up, covering up those, those pencil lines that you drew. Um, and then you could just pull down that texture paste towards the center. Creates very easy effect. Now, um, the first layer, you can actually see the pencil marks that I drew. Um, because I thinned out that texture paste, but no worries because you can go back over it with more texture paste. <laughs> Isn't that looks, it looks, the dimension that it gives is just so neat. Here's where I'm filling in those pencil lines. And I am, the, the water that I'm using is a very, you don't want to have too much water on your brush. I'm just basically getting the little lumpies off of my paintbrush when I dip it in that water and scraping it off the sides. And then I'm using my hand to straighten out my, uh, my paintbrush. And again, you don't want to use the flat side of the paintbrush. You want to use the, um, the side of it. Now here I am, I am just drew some squiggly lines on a second layer around my um, first layer, pulling that towards the center. And it creates little petal leaves. So we're gonna do one more little layer, just a little squiggly line circle in the center and just pull this down towards the center. And again, you could use, um, you can dot the center with the texture paste, but for, for today's card, I'm gonna add a gem just to fancy it up a little bit. But easy peasy. I love this. I hope you guys too. Let me know what you think, guys. I love hearing your comments. I had a little bit of texture paste left over in my little Ziploc baggie, so I'm just squeezing it back in my container. I'm gonna clean off my paintbrush really well. But these are my panels. Aren't they stunning? I just think they look gorgeous. Um, I am a big fan of texture on my cards and also dimension, and so I think this has all of it. Now, my I didn't wait for my texture paste to dry. Um, only because I wanted to, to continue on with the video, but I'm just popping up this panel with foam tape and placing it on an A2 size card base for all three. And then now all we have to do is add our bells and whistles. So I'm gonna be using some Nuvo Crystal Gems. I'm just using my glue in the center of each one of my flowers. And for my girlfriend card, I added a few little extra gems here and there along with my thinking of you and for my hair for you card. Very simple cards. I love the two tone. You have the colored card base with the white accent. I just think it's stunning. But the stamp set is just gorgeous. If you're looking for an encouraging stamp set, I'll link it down below. But the Simon Shop, the, fre uh, the, rest, the rest and refresh release is available right now at the Simon Shop. If you want to check it out, I encourage you to do that. I want to thank you so much for joining me, guys. I wish you a lovely day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.